Keith, can you give us a demonstration on how the machine works and why it's so efficient? Yeah, certainly. As I mentioned earlier, the device itself, the AL scan, has the auto features uh, associated with it, auto alignment and auto shot. So you just essentially align this up to the patient's pupil, move the device in, it takes over, it's given us the, the K measurements already, it's given us uh, our axial length measurements, then it's gonna move over and get you central corneal thickness, anterior chamber depth, white to white and pupil size. And as you can see, the exam is already completed. That's how easy it is to use. And at this point, you can just verify your measurements if you want. So you can select axial length here, and it's going to show you your axial length measurements. It's going to select the, the one that's got the higher signal to noise ratio for you already. You can look at your keratometric measurements. As you can see here, we have 2.4 and the 3.3 Meyer rings. So we have two Meyer rings. Each Meyer ring has 360 data points. So you're getting a total of 720 data points. For anterior chamber depth, we use Scheinflug imaging, as you can see here. And the reason we do that is because you get a more accurate anterior chamber depth uh, measurement that way. And then for white to white and pupil size, on this screen here, we can edit, we can move this out and about and recalculate if we needed to and just select OK. Once you're finished reviewing your data, you can click on the Save Output to IOL. And what this is going to do, it's going to save the data for you internally. And it's also going to give you a printout. This can also be networked to your office network. And these, the uh, images and the data can be actually sent out uh, to your EMR system. As you can see here, now it populates the IOL calculation screen. We can customize this for each doctor in the practice, and we can have their uh, most common IOLs that select um, are already preset in here for them. Um, the other nice feature that this device will give you is it has this toric assist function as I told you before. So if I click on the toric assist, it's complete already. So you can move this marker to an area on the patient's eye, say a bifurcation, and it's going to give you the degrees from that uh, biomarker uh, to the steep axis. As you can see here, it's 82 degrees. Uh, so the doctor can take this to the OR so they can properly place their toric IOLs. Great. Well, that was very fast. And thank you so much for a great explanation. Thank you, Tom.